Hello everyone, this is Kenny Bruni from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Bootstrap 5. And in this particular video, we are going to look at Bootstrap Cards. So right over here, as we've always been doing, cards are found in the components. So under components, we have cards showing up over here. And it says Bootstrap Cards provides a flexible and extensible content container with multiple variants on options. So we can use the card for a number of things over here and we are going to see practical examples as we move on so right over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and bring in a dot card so i want a div of class card and we are going to do it this way before we put it in a container to start things up so within the card you can just simply have let's say a paragraph and let's say i have lorem some lorem ipsum dummy text so when I save this, now you can see that we have some kind of a border around this content over here. Now, a card, as we have it, is not going to be like this. There's going to be more styling attached to it. So let me just cut this. Now, this paragraph will, under normal circumstances, be in a card body. So we can have a card body. So within the class card, that's going to be like the parent class. We can have a child class in it and that's a card body and i'm going to paste the content over here so once i pay the content you can see that automatically there's some kind of styling that has been affected so there's some padding to this effect now let me grab this whole card as we have it over here currently and let me just cut this and now let's have a container so within this container if i put this over here now we are beginning to see things very clearly. So there's this uh, margin and pattern that the container will automatically bring it. So basically, this is going to be like a card. But like I said, most of our cards are not just going to be with some raw content like this. It is going to have a little bit of styling to it. And one of the things we can do is now, as you can see over here, we have the card, we have the card body. Now, just in between the card and the card body we can have we can have a header so let me do this and that's going to be a class of card dash header so this is going to generate a div element of class card header and let me see the text in there is going to be card header so when i save this now clearly this is what we see over here card header showing up over here all right now beneath it we can also have a footer so just under the body we can have a dot card dash footer so when we do a card footer now i can add in the text card footer over here and when i save here we have a card footer we can equally add in the other bootstrap classes let's say we can do a txt dash center then we can do a txt dash mute and when i save this now i think it is supposed to be muted yes and clearly we can see that we have the changes showing up over here now this card as you have it is going to stretch along the viewport okay there's no demarcation to it now one of the ways we can handle it and remember when we're dealing with the list group i showed one example which wasn't the perfect example but then let me show it once again over here now on this card div element over here we can add in a style and we can put in a width of 18 rem so 18 rem this card is going to be 18 rem and it's going to be 18 rem no matter the screen size okay it's going to be 18 rem no matter the screen size so this is going to be the first example of a card that we are going to see with this bootstrap classes now let me get rid of this style over here because under normal circumstances we may not need this in the first place what we would then need is to actually put this in rules and columns so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just cut everything over here so i'll highlight everything of this card then i'll have in a row i'll do an my-5 then i'll have a call dash md and i'll do call dash md4 and i'll paste this over here and now when i open it up it is going to automatically adjust the core md4 so this is going to be our first card 
Now, with this particular card, there are a number of things or a number of styling options that we can use. And let's look at some of them over here. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab this whole container. Okay. So, I'll collapse this and I'll just copy this. So, I'll do a control C and I'll bring it down here. All right. So, let me save this. And here we are. Now, we can do a number of things over here. And a lot of the things will come in intuitively. So let's say on this card class over here, we can add in a number of classes over here. Now, if we do a BG, remember the contextual colors. If you do a BG primary over here like this and save, and see that this now takes in the contextual color primary. And because of the color blend, you can also do a TXT dash white over here so that everything within this text will be white okay we can do this let me also come in down here and add in another one so definitely we can do bg uh, primary we can do info uh, we can do warning and pretty much all the other classes that we know we can do danger we can do success and the rest of them we can do everything over here now let me come down here and also come and paste this. Remember we already had it copied. We can also come in here. So let me save this so that this one will show up over here. We can equally do a border and for the border I'll do primary. So this time around we don't want the entire background but then we just want the border to be primary. And that's exactly what we have showing up over here. So we have the border primary. Okay. And if your guess is as good as mine, we can do danger and the danger is going to show up. We can do success and this look a little bit thinner. So we can do another border dash five and that's going to increase the width of the border. So we can add in a number of bootstrap classes. So far as it makes sense, then we are good to go. All right. So this is going to be the first example. Now, the next example is going to be very interesting. and let me just open this up and also open this up over here. So inside of this, I have a folder over here, images, and I have some images showing up over here. Now we are going to see how we add images to cards. And we are going to have an imaginary shopping cart like we see on an e-commerce website or things of that sort. So let's say we have a container and let's do a row then let's do an my-5 and let's have a call dash for now let's do a call dash md4 so within the call dash md4 now we are going to have the card so we can have in a card like this and if your guess is as good as mine we can have in the body the footer and things of that sort but in this particular example we are going to have an image showing up over here and this is where we are going to put the image so we are going to have the apple, orange, pineapple, and strawberry. So let's look for the apple. And we are going to navigate through the images folder and grab the apple like we have over here. Now, when I save this and if we are to come back into our website, you are going to see that this is going to be how the apple is going to look like. Okay. Now we can add in a number of text. So let's come down here and let's do a dot card dash body. So this is where the card body is actually going to come in here. And let's have in an H4. And let's say we have something like fruit name. So let me just type in fruit name over here. And within fruit name, we can have in a class like card title. So when I save this, as you can see, we have this card taking shape. So the fruit name is going to appear over here. And let's have some kind of a description beneath it. So still within the card body, we can have, let's say, a paragraph. Okay. Then let's do a lorem ipsum. Let's do 20 of um, some kind of dummy text. So lorem ipsum 20. And we can have a class of card text 
So when we do a class of card text, this is what we are going to have. Okay. So if your guess is as good as mine, most of these things you see some kind of an add to card button showing up beneath this. So under this, we can have an anchor tag, and let's say we have add to cart. And remember, we dealt with this in the previous videos. We can have a btn btn dash, and let's say let's just do primary over here. And when I save this, this is going to be like a shopping cart. Okay, so when I click on add to cart, um, depending on which programming language I'm using, I would expect some kind of action to take place. So this is just going to be one section of it. Okay. Now let's duplicate it to have the other um, side of the image being filled out. So what I'm going to do over here is, remember we are all working within this column. Okay. And the parents class is a rule. So I can just grab everything we have over here within the column. And I'll do a control C. Now just come beneath this and do a control V and do a control V over here. Now when I save and come back here, we have this showing up very neatly over here. Now I'd want to change the images. So the first one is going to be Apple. The second one, the first one, let me come here. So the first one is going to be Apple. The second is going to be pineapple so i'll save and choose pineapple over here and the third one i'm going to do strawberry so i'll save this and once i come in here we have okay so this changed to the first one okay so the first one is pineapple i have strawberry and i have apple over here all right i think we have one last image over here and that has to do with um i think that's orange okay so let's bring out orange over here. And let me just highlight the column and beneath it and put out orange over here. So I'll type in orange and when I save, remember orange is going to come down here. Okay, orange is going to come down here because we are using a call demarcation of four. So four times three is going to be 12. So anything will now come down. Now this, as we have it over here, let's right click and go to inspect and if i'm to use the responsive layout as we have it over here and open things up let me try and zoom things up a little bit and yeah let me come down here all right now when i shrink this you are going to see that we we'll need some kind of that because they are too stacked to each other okay and that's the same view we are going to see if we are using let's say an iphone x okay they are going to stack to each other so what we can do is to actually come inside of this okay for all the columns we need to give we can do two things over here we can do imagine why and let's say we we'll do two or we can do imagine bottom of two but i normally would prefer to do imagine why of two so that it can be or it's going to be top and bottom so I'll do a control C over here to copy this and add this to all the columns I have in here. There are four of them. So I've done for three and I think there's the last one. All right. So when I save this and I'll come back here and see that we now have the margin showing up over here. And when I come to, let's say, an iPad screen size, we're also going to see this. But clearly you can see that things are beginning to look a little bit funny on an iPad screen size or a tablet screen size. And what we can do in order to make this design look very great is actually to change the medium screen size to actually to display two items over here. So this is what I mean. Now, instead of doing a core MD4, what we should be doing, okay, in order to make this look nice is to do a core MD6. Okay, so when I do a core MD6, I need to change everything to a core MD6. Core MD6. And finally, core MD6. Now, when I save this and come back over here, now we can see that we have a core MD6 over here because this is taking six and this is taking six, making up two. So, this is a medium screen size, okay, for an iPad. And 
um let me go to the responsive section when i open this up this is what we have now when i open up to a desktop screen size we want to have three being displayed on top okay or we can have four depending on what we would want so let's have three and all that we need to do is to come in here and i prefer to have it here so let's do a call dash excel dash and this time around i want four so i'll do a control c of this class paste it over here control v paste it over here to control v and finally paste it over here control v so when i save this and now when i come back you can see that on a large screen size this is what we have now when we shrink things up and when we get into the medium breakpoint we see it being automatically adjusting to the kind of demarcation we've given it and this is going to look great because on an iphone this is how our website is going to look very neatly styled for our cards then when we come to an ipad this is how it's going to look and definitely an ipad pro is going to look this way awesome and let's say a galaxy fold is going to look this way fantastic then any of the android let's say galaxy 5s or s5 is going to look this way so this is pretty much the fundamentals of cards all right so one of the last thing i would want to show is i've added in another image over here that's a brand this particular image and we are going to see other variations of cards that we can have so let's have a container class over here and within the container let's have a row and let's also have a class of my5 so that we separate this from the top and bottom and let's have a card bootstrap class over here now within the card let's have a row now within the row we can have a call dash md dash let's say eight and within this let's put this image over here so let me bring this image and this is, is the brand.jpg and let's go and have a preview of how things are beginning to take shape so as you can see the image is very big okay the image is very big now in order to size things up a little bit we can add in a bootstrap class over here so we can do an img dash fluid now when i do img dash fluid and save let me come and refresh over here our live server is down now when i come here to have a preview of it you can see that we have this taking shape so clearly this was the whole demarcation over here was a core md8 and now we have the core md4 over here which you can add in some text that we want all right so having said that we can now come down and do a core dash md dash four and let's say we can add in a number of things over here so let's say we can have an h4 let's say we can have a brand history and beneath it we have a paragraph and let's just some lorem usium dummy text so once i save this and i come back here this is what we have okay it is looking great we can as well add in a number of bootstrap classes over here to chip things up but basically this is what we want now when i try and resize things up over here let me come down here and i shrink this up a little bit you can see that it is automatically adjusting but then behaving funny there are means and ways that we can handle this very properly but clearly once it gets to the medium breakpoint you can see that this automatically gets um, displayed in a block form okay so this um, i mean one of the things you would want to explore and manage the way you handle um, cards and in order to put things into perspective now this whole card we can put this so let me cut this and put this in a core so let's do a core dash um a core eight okay and put this over here and when i save this 
and see that this is beginning to take shape okay the core eight is going to take the core eight and once it gets to the medium break point here we have things beginning to change as we have it over here so this is going to be the end of card all right so if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambo tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambo tech we say learn programming and catch you in the next video bye bye